Hello children. Welcome to yet another numerous lesson. This lesson was produced by Rwanda Education Board with support from UNICEF. My name is Teacher John. Today's lesson is for primary five pupils. But like I said in the previous lessons, primary six pupils should feel free to join for purposes of revision. Dear parents, once again, we thank you for always supporting our children to learn. In this lesson, you will still need a notebook and a pen. It is always good to have some counting objects with you. Dear children, for more practice and exercises about today's lesson, refer to a textbook titled Mathematics for Rwandan Schools, Pupils Book 5, Unit 3, pages 31 and 32. Dear children, let us have a review of what we learned in the previous lesson. What did we learn in the previous lesson? Very good. In the previous lesson, we did prime factorization of numbers and expressed them as a product of their prime factors. We learned that prime factorization starts with the smallest possible prime factors. Dear children, did you do your homework? If you did, let us check our answers. After prime factorizing 50, the answer you got was 50 equals 2 times 5 times 5. After prime factorizing 50, the answer you got was 50 equals 2 times 5 times 5. Prime factorizing 28 equals... 2 times 2 times 7. Prime factorizing 28, you get 2 times 2 times 7. And lastly, our homework was to prime factorize 16. And prime factorizing 16, you got 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2. I repeat, 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well done. Flowers to those who tried out their homework. Dear children, in today's lesson, we will learn more about prime factorization. But this time round, we will use indices or powers to express repeated prime factors. But first, let us have a short break. We will be back shortly. Come along. Welcome back, dear children. Like I said before the break, in today's lesson, we will continue to learn about prime factorization. But this time round, we are going to use indices or powers to express repeated prime factors. This time round, we are using indices which we also call powers, to express repeated prime factors. Dear children, we are going to have a warm-up song. This song is about indices. Are you excited about it? Very good. As usual, you will stand up, dance the way you feel like, as you listen to the song, 
and later on we will sing together. Ready, children? Very good. Let's go. You get an index when you multiply a number by itself one or more times, one or more times. Where is the base? The base is at the bottom. Where is the power? The power is on the top. Well done, children. Now, let us sing it together. Sing it with me as you shake the way you feel like. You get an index when you multiply a number by itself one or more times, one or more times. Where is the base? Where is the best? The best is at the bottom. The best is at the bottom. Where is the power? Where is the power? The power is on the top. The power is on the top. Well done, children. You may now take your seats. I hope you're now ready to learn. Now, dear friends, remember in today's lesson, we are still learning prime factorization. But this time round, using indices to express repeated factors. Now, friends, as heard from our warm-up song, which two parts does an index have? Great! An index has two parts, the base and the power. The power can also be called an exponent. The base of an index is the number at the bottom. The base of an index is the number at the bottom, and it shows the number being repeated. And it shows the number being repeated. The power, also called the exponent, is the number written on the top of the base. And it shows the number of times the base has been repeated. And it shows the number of times the base has been repeated. Let us have some examples, friends. Prime factorize 8 and use indices to show repeated factors. Prime factorize 8 and use indices to show repeated factors. Very good, friends. As we can see, to prime factorize 8, first, 8 divided by 2, we get 4. 4 divided by 2, we get 2. And 2 divided by 2, we get 1. Our number 8 has been reduced to 1 by 2, 2, and 2. So we have 3 2s. We have 3 2s. That means our number 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. As you can see, friends, the prime factor 2 has repeated itself three times. Therefore, 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2, and this equals to 2 to the power of 3. How do you write it, friends? You will write a 2 to the power of 3. 3 is written on the top right of 2. 3 is written on the top right of 2. Very good. Dear children, what is the base and the power for our index 2 power 3? Very good. The base is 2 and the power is 3. 3 shows that 2 has been repeated three times. Very good. Now, friends, let us have a short break. We'll be back shortly with more examples. Come along and play with Welcome back, children. Now, let us have more examples. Example 2. 
prime factorize the number 20 and show the repeated factors as indices. Prime factorize the number 20 and show the repeated factors as indices. Very good, children. To prime factorize 20, we will divide 20 divided by 2. We get 10. 10 can still be divided by 2. Therefore, 10 divided by 2, we get 5. 5 cannot be divided by 2. Therefore, friends, which smallest prime number can divide 5? Very good. 5 can be divided by 5. And therefore, 5 divided by 5, we get 1. Our number 20 has been reduced to 1. And the prime factors we have used are 2, 2, and 5. Therefore, 20 equals 2 times 2 times 5. Friends, which prime factor has repeated itself? Very good. The prime factor 2 has repeated itself two times. Therefore, we write it as 2 to the power of 2. The base is 2 and the power is 2. This gives our 20 as 20 equals 2 power 2 times 5. I hope you enjoying indices, friends. 20 equals 2 power 2 times 5. Why? Just because 20 equals 2 times 2 times 5. Our 2 is repeated 2 times. Therefore, we write 20 equals 2 power 2 times 5. In another example, dear friends, prime factorize number 18 and express its repeated factors as indices. Very good, friends. Remember, when prime factorizing, we start with the smallest possible prime factors. And therefore, with 18, we are starting with prime factor 2. 18 divided by 2, we get 9. Now 2 cannot divide 9 without a remainder. So the next prime factor is 3. 9 divided by 3, we get 3. 3 can still be divided by itself. Therefore, 3 divided by 3, we get 1. Now, our number 18 has been reduced to 1 by the following prime factors. 2, 3, and 3. So our number 18 has been divided by prime factors 2, 3, 3. As you can see, 3 has repeated 2 times. So 18 equals 2 times 3 times 3. In terms of indices, 18 equals 2 times 3 power 2. I repeat, in terms of indices, 18 equals 2 times 3 power 2. Because 3 was repeated two times. Now, friends, let us have another break. We will be back shortly. Come along and play with us. 
Welcome back, children. Now, dear children, try this activity on your own. Prime factorize 36 and express its repeated prime factors in terms of indices. You have few seconds to do so. Dear adults, support me to see whether my friends are doing the right thing. Very good. I hope you have finished, friends. Let us check our answer. Remember our prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on. And when prime factorizing, we start with the smallest prime factors. So when prime factorizing our number 36, we start with 2. 36 divided by 2, we get 18. 18 divided by 2, we get 9. Now 2 cannot divide 9. Therefore, we look on to the next prime factor. And that is 3. 9 divided by 3, we get 3. We can use 3 again. 3 divided by 3, we get 1. So, our number 36 has been prime factorized by prime factors 2, 2, 3, 3. That means 2 has been repeated 2 times and 3 has been repeated 3 times. Therefore, in terms of indices, our number 36 equals 2 power 2 times 3 power 2. Well done for trying out, dear children. Now, friends, before we end our lesson, let us review what we have learned today. We have learned more about prime factorization of numbers and learned how to express repeated factors as indices. We learned that while prime factorizing, we start with the smallest prime factor possible. We also noted that with an index, the base at the bottom shows the number being repeated and the power shows the number of times the base has been repeated. For your homework, express the numbers 24, 32, and 50 as a product of their prime factors. Use indices to show repeated factors. I repeat, for your homework, express the numbers 24, 32, and 50 as a product of their prime factors. Use indices to show repeated factors. Dear children, remember to check for more examples and exercises in the textbook Mathematics for Rwanda Primary Schools, Pupils Book 5, pages 31 and 32. That is it for today. Thank you for participating. Dear parents, we appreciate your support. Dear children, stay home safely and remember to join us for our next numerous lesson. Bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time.